MSI Afterburner just got a brand new version for October 2025 and I'm about to show you how to super easy overclock any GPU out there guys doing it the proper way showing you step by step exactly how to do it. A quick disclaimer guys I would definitely recommend you to download a tool like GPU Z just to monitor the overall stats and temperature of your GPU and as well using a custom benchmark which is actually free to use which I'm going to leave a link to down in the description. That way you just make sure that you fully benchmark it and also have overview of all the temperatures and everything like that. Another quick disclaimer would also be I would highly not recommend you to actually use the automatic overclocking feature of MSI Afterburner. That one is really unprecise for a lot of people and for some including me on two of my PCs it actually doesn't even work for whatever reason. I tested it out on a 4060 and a 3050 build and for both of them it didn't even work. MSI Afterburner somehow couldn't scan the data of my GPU for whatever reason. So therefore I'm gonna show you first of all the main and best way how to properly do it and squeeze out the maximum performance and then as well a lot easier way which doesn't require all the benchmarks it's maybe not as precise and maybe even a little bit comical, but I'm gonna explain it just in a second. We all know overclocking your GPU is definitely gonna give you better performance in games, but you know what's also super important? Having really low ping. And this is where GR Booster comes in clutch. GR Booster is your number one gaming service when it comes down to reducing your ping. With the top link in my video description, you can by the way try it out for absolutely free guys, and even pros like Zen are using it. It's gonna help you to find the best DNS servers in your near to make sure to get the least amount of latency in all your favorite games. No matter if you're playing Fortnite, CS2, Valorant, or the wide variety of games which GRB actually supports. Not only does it help you to reduce your ping, but also give you better stability in games. So if you sometimes have random lag spikes, or you have connection issues, GRB is gonna help you to counter that. So therefore, try out GRB Booster for absolutely free as mentioned with the top link in my video description. First of all, what we're gonna need to do is just simply google up the MSI Afterburner or just simply click onto the first link in the video description where you can find their main website guys. And from here on, we can now see they have a final release of October 2025, which is the new update so we're going to click onto it and just simply download it. And once we got it, this is exactly how it should look like. We have the MSI Afterburner installer and we're just gonna put it onto our desktop. By the way, you're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip or anything like that to open it up. Once we're now here in the installation, make sure to uncheck Northern 360 and then just continue with installation. Click under yes again. And now it's gonna ask you which language. We're just gonna go with English. Click under next. Make sure to check the license agreement. And the driver tuner is actually this fancy little stats window which you can see in all of these benchmark videos on the top left of your corner. Just to keep the video simple, we're gonna keep it only with the MSI Afterburner. Click under next and then again under next and install. It's only gonna take a few seconds really depending on your system speed and then you can see now we're gonna unclick read me and just simply finish and run the MSI Afterburner. If for whatever reason MSI Afterburner looks a little bit different for you guys don't be worried just simply go under settings wherever you can find that and then you can see the properties and then completely on the right side we have user interface and there we have now a bunch of overlays. For the sake of the video I'm gonna use this one here the MSI Mythic Afterburner skin. This is the one which I'm gonna use. You can of course also use all the other skins, but for the sake of the video, just so you have the same one, I guess, I would just simply apply it. And now, what we can see now, all these stats of our current GPU. In this build here, I actually run currently RTX 4090. You can see we have a ton of memory here and all of that. And the first thing you wanna do always, whenever you overclock your GPU, is first of all, drag your power limit all the way to the right side to 100%. You can see in the same time, also the temperature limit is gonna go up. This is normal and wanted. Next up, we have the core clock and the memory clock speed. And what I would recommend you now is to as well get GPU Z from the link in the video description since it just gives us a little bit more data about our GPU. I'm just gonna show it just in a second. It's gonna power up here now. And now with GPU Z, you can see all the core data of your GPU. For me, it's as mentioned here, a 4090. And now you can see it, guys. We have the GPU clock itself, the memory clock. We have now our overall GPU temperature, which is as well a lot more precise than in the MSI Afterburner, the hotspot and memory temperature. These are amazing stats, which we don't even see in the Afterburner. So therefore, for me personally, just to keep it a little bit more precise, I like to have this tool open as well. What we are going to need as well is the Super Position 2017 benchmark, which you can actually get as well from the video description. And this one is also free to use, guys. I know it's from 2017, but it's still pretty hard with demanding. And you can already see it looks really good here from the previous. So what we definitely need is for every single time when we overclock our GPU, we are gonna need a benchmark to actually check if the overclock is stable. I'm gonna explain this just in a second. Don't be worried. Just simply get it from here, guys. And now basically how the overclock is working, we're first of all gonna focus on the core clock speed, not the memory. We're gonna start with the top one. And now what you wanna do is, first of all, go up in 15 to 20 steps. No matter which GPU you have, you always wanna go up with something like 15, 20. So let's say as an example now that we're gonna go up with the core clock by 15. What we're gonna do is apply this now to our GPU 
it's gonna get applied. And now what you're actually going to do is first of all, run the benchmark for let's say something like five minutes, 10 minutes, just to see if the overclock is actually stable. If it is stable, you can go back into the MSI afterburner. You can as well check with GPU C and see if all the temperatures are good and all of that. And if everything is stable, you're gonna remember that number. And now we are actually gonna go up to 30. And how this works in MSI afterburner is you don't add additional 15 because then it's gonna stay on plus 15. You actually have to do 30 now. You always have to calculate it on top. So now we gonna continue with 30. Apply this one again. I actually never overclocked my 4090. I just figured out. But yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna apply this here real quick because I do believe the 4090 is actually quite overclockable. But yeah, we're gonna continue now with 30 as an example. Now you're gonna go back into the software, run again all of the benchmarks which you need in the background. Let it just simply run for a couple of minutes. See if it's stable. See if you have no glitching, no overheating and all of that. Consistently check with GPU Z or even in the benchmark it's like a temperature control feature. And if it's stable and you have no issues with temperatures or as mentioned lags or anything you can go back to the MSI afterburner and now go up again 15 something like 45 we're gonna apply it go back into the software run again all of the benchmarks and this is how you're going to proceed up until to a point where you see okay your temperatures get too high which is going to be something above 80 i would say like usually gpus are totally fine with running up to 80 degrees in like super hard demanding games but it's not optimal so therefore i would say something like above like 83 84 85 that's where you should be already worried okay what is going on i maybe need more fan speed and all of that I'm going to show you just in a second how to set this up. But once you hit a point, or let's say that you get glitches on your screen, yeah? That's a point where you know, okay, the previous settings which were actually working without glitches, those are the maximum ones for your current GPU where it's running completely stable. So therefore, let's say that you figured out now your core clock speed, you found it, it's maybe something like plus 150 or 200 megahertz as an example, right? You're just gonna keep that on the top applied and now we're gonna focus on the memory clock. And here you can go up in 50 steps. So we first of all gonna start again with 50, apply it onto a GPU, go again into the software, run the benchmark, check again for temperatures, go back into the MSI afterburner, add additional 50 if it's running stable, hit apply again, go again into the benchmarks, check it out, and that's the whole way on how to properly overclock your GPU. Don't be worried there guys, every single GPU which I've been working with across the past like, I don't know, decade or every single PC I've been working on, they all have safety features if the GPU is running too hard that your PC is just gonna shut off. That's actually a thing which is built in to Windows, you know, so therefore you don't have to be worried there. Or even if you get glitches, just simply go back again, you know, to your previous settings or just like restore it and then you should be chilling and good to go again. But what's also very important with this step is that you go into your settings again, guys, Guys, click under fan and now here you have a fan curve what you actually want to do is you want to click here onto the fourth one delete that one and now we have only three and i'm going to show you what i would personally recommend you okay so for me personally if you would ask me this is something which i would apply if our gpu is currently on 50 degrees i would already use half of the fan speed 50 yeah here you can see the fan speed in percentage you can see the temperature if it's on anything close to 65 i would definitely already put it close to 70 ish the fan speed and if it's on 75, which is already getting all the way up there to 80, you definitely just want to straight up cool it down. This is why I would use 100%. Of course, the higher it goes, the louder your PC is going to get. So if you worry about that, I mean, yeah, you could maybe put it down a little bit. But for me personally, I'd rather not have my PC overheat and actually lose FPS because you're wearing headphones most of the time anyway. So therefore, try to copy something similar like this here. So it goes up pretty fast here between like 50 to 75-ish in this temperature. And that way you basically can overclock any GPU very easy. And I'm gonna show you the easy method. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset this here real quick. And you know guys how I told you about the easier method actually with AI evolving and all of that. You can even just go on Google and just type in there, give me numbers, RTX 4090 or whatever cards you guys are using. Then the inner for the MSI, whichever you're using, MSI Afterburner Easy OC settings. And the AI actually now told me for the core clock, use around 250 megahertz and for the memory clock, 1800, which is actually quite realistic. And what I was probably aiming for with the 4090, if I would ever overclock it, or you can even find like other people here now on Reddit talking about it. Like, hey, here I got 260 in the core, 150 on the memory clock. Or even if you have something like a very popular GPU, like the RTX 4060 as an example, chances are that this GPU has been sold 100,000 million times at this point. So there is definitely already some videos about it on the internet where it's showing you exactly what are the best OC settings. So therefore you can feel free to copy these or just ask ChatGPT, Google AI, whatever you guys wanna use and you're most likely gonna get really good settings because if a guide as an example has like a thousand likes or anything like that, chances are those are pretty good settings. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy, it's very self-explanatory. 
And if you feel like, okay, you want to try out some settings as an example, like 250 or what was it uh, for the 4090 and then here like 1.8K and you're not entirely sure, just go a little bit lower, something like 200 maybe then on the core clock and something like 1.2K on the memory clock. And you're still going to get a decent OC, which is most likely 99% completely safe. So therefore guys, that's a very lazy and easy method to overclock any GPU. And if this was helpful, please make sure to check out all of the other videos, which are right now on screen, which are going to help you out to optimize your Windows PC even further.